Today I'm gonna to show you how to use this simple hand tool to bend metal conduit into awesome builds like this. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Dave. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to bend EMT conduit. EMT conduit is an ordinary metal tubing you can get at your local hardware store and it makes a great DIY building material as well. Being able to bend it is really useful and helpful, both for practical and fun DIY projects. It might seem intimidating to bend metal tube like this, but I promise you, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And if you've done it before, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks so you can get it done a little bit quicker and better. The tool we're gonna to use is this EMT conduit bender, which is a super great value. It's less than $35, you can pick it up anywhere. Electricians use it all the, all the time. And there's a lot of ways to bend metal pipe, but this is by far the most economical and simple way to do it. Um, it has a, a cast die on the head of it and a long handle. And what you do is you place the conduit into the bender like that. And you're gonna apply leverage through the handle and then this foot rest, and you're gonna pull, push down and then it bends the conduit up against a flat surface. I wanna show you some of the markings on the head of the bender uh, so you know what they mean. The first one is this arrow here and that's for aligning where you're gonna put the bend in the conduit. And if you want the bend 12 inches from the end, you put a mark there and it makes sense to put it all the way around. So no matter how it's oriented, you can line it up exactly with that mark and that's where the radius is gonna start. Then if you want different angles, you've got these marks here that you're gonna align the conduit. So as you bend, if you want a 45 degree, you just keep bending until the conduit is parallel with that line. And you can go all the way up to a 90 degree bend here. Here's some other things. This is obviously for a three quarters inch EMT and it has a six inch radius. So that's what that's saying right here. Here's a piece of conduit that I bent earlier with this bender. And if you can imagine the center of that radius right here, it's gonna be six inches. And then that goes all the way around. So if you're calculating how long you need to put that bend or how much that's gonna take up, you've got it right here on the bender face. One of the other important markings on this conduit bender is this star right here. And what that does, it allows you to do a U-bend and get two bends parallel to each other. So if we want these legs to be 24 inches apart, we're gonna go ahead and mark this at 24 inches, roughly. It's really important to keep the bender and your first bend in the same plane. Uh, because if you, if you bend it this way or that way, you're gonna get what's called a dog leg and it'll be pretty crooked. So we match up the star, get it aligned roughly in the same plane, and then step and bend this side to about 90 degrees. And you wanna stop just short of where the, the shoe piece meets the conduit, and then take your bend off. Now one cool trick is I overbent this angle. You can see it's a little bit past 90 degrees. So in this bender and a lot of benders, you've got a really cool trick where you can insert the conduit that you overbent or have to adjust into the handle and you can see it's flared out here to, to go over the conduit. And then it gives you this long handle to apply uh, leverage and get that back to where you want it. See, it's really easy then. Take it off. And then we've, we've gotten back to that measurement. And now we look right there and we're really close to that 24 inch distance we want. And that's extremely helpful. If you're trying to do a table leg or some other U-shaped bend, you're definitely gonna wanna know that trick. I hope you guys found that useful. If you want more tips and tricks about how to build with conduit, check out this video. Thanks everybody for watching.